Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go into Black Widow Red by Dawn chapter 2 and we're going to take on the punishment path. Uh, the, part, the, the chapter named uh, Punishment. We're going to just take a quick look. We're going to try to go straight up the middle here to the, um, the boss fight there. And we're just going to take a quick look at the parts right here. It's nothing too impressive to worry about as you can take a look around the map so we're gonna try it's quite a lot of parts to complete this was my first attempt at this map so you're gonna see the gameplay on this um, I since then 100% uh, all completed all of these maps and this entire event Black Widow event um, no major hiccups um, the more annoying fight would be the Black Widow herself I would say and the final fight um, in peace the boss there is going to be a little troublesome for most but when we get to that gameplay video we're going to show you some different situations and what to avoid and what to do so you don't use uh, too many revives or uh, you're able to complete the parts uh, a lot easier so we're going to go pretty much straight up the middle in this fight we're going to take you know mega red for the first fight and take all that bishop uh, we're just going to sit back and let the death spores do its job. This is a five star awaken Omega Red. And we want to parry, hopefully, and get that uh, heavy attack off so that we can keep the death spores on him. We want to dexterity his SP2. We do not want to get hit by that XP2, he's going to do a ton of damage. We're going to power off that XP2. We're gonna stay close to him so the death spores do, does a job. Cut back in there, parry and let it work. Let it just eat away at him, melt him away. And this is a pretty simple fight as long as you don't get hit by that SP2. So stay away from his SP2 and you should be fine in that fight. Absolutely no problems at all. So next fight is going to be, we're going to go up against the Hulk. Pretty simple fight. We're going to take in uh, Nick Fury against the Hulk in this part. Uh, I should actually check the nodes and see what they actually do. Uh, but these fights seem very simple. There's nothing too much on the nodes itself until you get into chapter three where the nodes do matter. And every part has a different effect and you need to have um, be prepared to handle uh, each part significantly differently. But when we get to chapter 3, we will talk about that in those videos. But punishment right now, uh, Hulk, pretty easy work, no problems here. Fury is just going to finish him off. Uh, the LMD Nick Fury, life model decoy is going to finish him off, so no problem there. And then we're going to continue on here now to the next fight. Uh, make a decision here where you want to go. Let's just go take out. Uh, let's just go to the right. And with your first part, uh, part on any one of these fights, you just want to go to the easy spot just so you could get a feel for uh, the path, feel uh, for whatever the champs may have to offer in each of these gameplays. Uh, you don't want to go to the most difficult one first. Just uh, test it out. Uh, I want to complete the the parts first of all uh, so we get those rewards and hopefully those rewards could help you ramp rank your champions up even more and then you would be better prepared for the more difficult um, lanes or parts in this uh, these quests uh, this fight uh, was a bit annoying at times I have to say not in um, chapter 2 here but in chapter 3 it gets significantly more annoying fighting that um, because he has the hurt locker and he has long distance relationship not so much long distance relationship but that hurt, hurt locker using the same type of special twice in a row the attacker is, de is uh, delays blast and then the mix master if the attacker attempts to basic attack twice in a row uh, he has a hundred percent chance to evade I found that to be the most annoying and what I ended up realizing and doing is try to do more heavies until you get a special attack and then there's five different special attacks. You cannot use the same special twice in a row for that fight. 
So as you can see, he's going to go and do a lot of evading. He's going to do a lot of evading here because you see it's evade, evade. Because if you use the same light or medium attack twice in a row, he's going to evade 100% of the time the second attempt. So again, it's good to use a damage over time um, champion and for him. For Taskmaster, because he is a bit annoying, I wasn't paying attention to the nodes at first, and I was normal fight playing, but every time you light light, for example, he's going to 100% evade the second one, which is very annoying. And then you cannot use the same uh, special attack in a row. So that's something to look forward to in this fight. So again, heavy attack. You could use heavies as much as possible. So Nick Fury was perfect for this fight because you want to land his heavies anyway, parry. You want to parry and land your heavies. And then just mix up the special attacks, SP2, SP1, SP3, however you want to mix it up. Uh, depending on the champ you have. I just want to take him into the real Nick Fury here to do most damage possible. I'm going to fire up the SP3 and hopefully take this guy down quite a bit. You want Nick Fury down to between 35% uh, and under anyway to be uh, at his very best. There you go. I was hoping for some more bleed going on there. And anyway, we took him out. Absolutely no problem. And the next thing about Nick Fury is once he has over uh, seven tactical charges, he cannot miss. So that takes care of that. So he would be probably, I would say, the best champion to take out um, that taskmaster now we coming up to the back half of this um quest here now we're going to go to the the easiest part first of all to finish off these fights and uh, pretty much it's the same in chapter three so that taskmaster is just going to be a little bit more pain in the butt but absolutely the same node so when you practice at um as um chapter two you should be ready for chapter three there you go. This is guy is absolutely no problem at all. So the only main ch um, champion so far going up the center that was a problem is Taskmaster, and all you have to do is mix up the, the your, your your play style. Yeah, we're going to take on. Uh, let's just go up the center. I'm I'm thinking. Let's see where we go here. We're gonna go up dead center. And then we're gonna make a decision and take on, who do we go for? Let's go for the Ghost Rider. Let's just get some energy here. And he is not going to be a problem either. We're gonna use Ebony Moor for him. And this is one of my first times using an Ebony Moor in a quest. He's quite effective. You wanna just drop the heavies. When you drop your heavy, you actually steal some power back as you can see there so the heavy attacks are pretty cool and that's his sp1 he falters guy completely misses back in land some shots heavy attack steal some power and that is pretty cool power control not a lot of um, power drain but at least a bit of power drain so that you get some power here. We're gonna just file that SP2. He does a ton of damage, completely miss with falter. Boom. He's gonna take some hits here. And that's it. Ghost Rider is out of it. Very simple gameplay using Ebony Moor, six star rank one, unawakened just picked him up last week which was pretty cool Hawkeye and who shall we use for Hawkeye let's just finish him off with Nick Fury Nick Fury is in his sweet spot right now and here we go devastating attack that was almost a 3,000 hit bleed there not to mention the ongoing bleed again a next four hundred plus bleed per second 
This is just going to be devastating. This is absolutely no competition when this guy is below 30% as the real Nick Fury. Now, here's the boss fight. And here's the annoying fight. We're going to be fighting here Kingpin. And he is a bit annoying as well. He has Counter-Strike, using Dexterity to dodge backgrounds. The attacker, a passive Fury Charge, increasing uh, the attack. Uh, the 10 Fury Charges, the defender is unblockable for 15 seconds. So you really do not want to push this guy and use too many um, Dexterities on him. The defender is immune to all ability, accuracy, reduction, passives, and debuffs. And this defender shrugs off the buffs very fast. So we just going to go in here and play around and just test him. So I'm going to take the champ that I think I could um, test him out really quick with. Just to see what he is. And we could see that it's absolutely, absolutely not even denting his, his health here. So it just gives you a feel of what to expect. So you could bring in your champ still surviving at to this point to finish off the kingpin. Have any more? This mission, boom. He made a miss, but not good enough. So, have any more would have been good. But again, we just wanted to test our kingpin because it was the first time attempting to fight him uh, with these buffs. So. Let's see, we have Nick Fury. I'm trying to parry here, but again, Kingpin shrugs off any type of stun or anything you put on him much faster than normal. So when I tried to land the heavy, he was already out of that stun and attacked. So be careful of that. Star-Lord is gonna do damage just because of the sheer hitting power of Star-Lord. He has 10, 11 hits right now and he's starting to do some damage. Plus he has much higher block proficiency than most champions and as the fight goes on, his block proficiency goes up even more. You wanna fire off the SP2 and there you go. We got a power drain. That was one dexterity. Again, try not to do too many dexterities on this kingpin because you're gonna pay the price for it. Star-Lord is an absolute beat with hit and power. That is why he's going to be very good in this fight against him. He's 42 hits into it. Got to time that heavy. And I believe if he hits or fires off that heavy, that, this, uh, let's see. Remember, Star-Lord was over 60%. He fires off the SP3 and that's the end of it. So you do not want to push this guy to SP3 and that is why I say we test Kingpin out at all levels. So when you get to chapter three, uh, you know exactly what to do and prepare for this guy. Now he's not going to be able to handle my Hyperion. Rank five, five star awakened, sig level over 120. And that damage over time should take care of him pretty much. Again, he shrugged off all of the incinerate that should have took out any normal champion. And there you go, that should do it. He shrugged it off again. Again, guys, that's how you finish this part. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. Like, subscribe, and um, hit that notification bell for follow-up emails. And work less, play more, enjoy life. Catch you guys on chapter three for war and peace. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.